just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you die for me. Blessings and glory and honor they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Can we sing it again? Say, just want to praise you. Just want to praise you forever and ever. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Just want to praise you. For all you've done, you've done for me, for me. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Just want to praise. Come, come on, can we clap our hands forever and ever and ever for all you you've done for me, for me. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Just one up. Come on. Forever and ever and ever. For all, for all, you done for me. Blessings and glory and on they all, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Can we go up one more time? Oh, just want to thank you forever and ever. Oh. For all, for all, you've done, you've done for me, for me. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Say, blessings and glory and honor, they all, they all belong to you. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Say, 
say blessings and glory, and I they all belong to you. One more time, say blessings and glory, and they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Hallelujah. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I had to do. I need you more and more. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I had to do. I need you more and more. Oh, say I'm chasing. I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, I need, I need you more and more. One more time, I'm chasing after, I'm chasing after you. No matter what, no matter what I have to do, I need, I need you more and more. Chasing up, I'm chasing after you. No matter what, no matter what I have, I need, I need you more and more. So I'm chasing up, I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, I need, I need you more and more. I'm praising my way through. Just a bit closer to you. I'm chasing after you. Let me some chasing after. I'm chasing after you. I'm praising my. I'm praising my. I'm praising my, I'm praising my way just to be close, just to be closer to you. I'm chasing that, I'm chasing that. One more time, I'm chasing that, I'm chasing after you. I'm praising my. Everybody sing more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. If you need more of Jesus, sing more and more, oh, more and more, more and more, more.
say people need more of Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap our hands in here. Come on, clap your hands. the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. Say, 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 I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. He's worthy. 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 Say, bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord on 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 my soul. And all that is within me. And all that is within me. And everything within me. And everything within me. Bless his holy name. He's worthy. He's worthy. Anybody know he's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, let his word say he's worthy. 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 Say, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord. 
I will bless the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and say, say, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Say, will you bless the Lord? Will you bless the Lord? Say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. 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 He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, say, he's worthy. God is worthy. He's worthy. Say, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. God, so you're worthy. He's 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 worthy. To say bless the Lord on my soul. Bless the Lord on my soul. Come on, you can sing it. Bless the Lord on my soul. Bless the Lord on my soul. And everything within me. Everything within me. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Everybody say, he's worthy. He's worthy. If you mean it, sing it. Say, he's worthy. He's worthy. God, you're so worthy. He's worthy. Of all the praise. He's worthy. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Say he's worthy. 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 Come on, clap your hands in this place. Hallelujah. How many people know God is worthy of all the praise? Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord on our soul. Please stand for the call of worship. This is the second Sunday in Easter tide. This is a good news which we proclaim to you. Walk in the light of his love. Come, let us worship the one who overcame death. Everyone, let us celebrate the triumph of our Lord. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. You may be seated. Prayer of invocation. Lord of resurrection surprises, open our heart this day to, to the presence of Jesus Christ. Erase our excuses for unbelief and exchange them for the strong witness to the power of your mercy and love. 
Give us courage and challenge us to walk the path of, dis of the disciples, knowing that Jesus goes before us, leading and guiding our steps. In his name we pray. Amen. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Incline thy ear to us and grant us thy. for the morning hymn, hymn number 187, Oh, How I Love Jesus. There is Anybody loves him? Oh, 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 how I love Jesus. Oh, 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 how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Last verse right here says, It tells me of his loving heart. Deepest woe in each song. There's a part that none can bear below. Everybody say, oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love, you. Oh, how I love you. Because, because he first loved me. Sing it again, say, oh. Everybody love him, say, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Amen. Because he first loved us. Amen. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's but one true church holy, apostolic, and universal thought, whose faith we reverently and sincerely declare the use of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered on a Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, and he descended into heaven, and he sit upon the right hand of God the Father of Christ. From then he shall become judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, and forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
Good morning. The scripture for today can be found at John chapter 20, verses 24 through 27, in the New Revised Standard Version, updated edition. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. God's word for God's people. Amen. Amen. It is prayer time. The altar is open for prayer. Come and have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about it. The altar is now open. Our sister Deborah Hines Smith is going to lead us in prayer. So we come humbly before you, Father God. We exalt you, we magnify you, we lift you up, we glorify you, we give your name the praise. Father God, we come before you, we ask now that you would forgive us for those things that we have said, that we have done, that we have thought, that was contrary to your will and your word. We come now believing your word that you said that you would forgive. 
and that you would cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. So we come standing on your word. We thank you now for the precious gift of salvation. We thank you now, Father God, for your son Jesus who came and died and shed his blood. We, can, we come now, Father God, for the precious Holy Spirit that you give as a comforter to abide, to guide, to lead, to defend. We come now, Father God, just to say thank you. Just to say thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of soundness of mind and ableness of body and ableness of speech, we say thank you. Father God, we thank you for work. We thank you for off days. We thank you for the freedom that we have to worship and serve you. We, have, we thank you, Father God, for the freedom of living in this country. We thank you, Father God, for the air that we breathe, hallelujah, and the food that we eat. Father God, you are amazing. You are awesome. You are wonderful. And we bless your name. We bless your name. So we come now, Father God, because you said to ask. And we have not because we ask not. So we ask now, Father God, that you would continue to be with those, those family members. Help them to know you, God. Help them to know you, God, in the pardoning of their sin. We come now, Father God, for those that teach and bring the word. We ask that you would continue to anoint, envelop, and empower. We come now, Father God, for those who are our leaders. We ask that you continue to guide them, protect them. Help them to know that they are serving but for a time such as this. We come now, Father God, on behalf of those who are sick, those who are helpless, homeless, hurting, those in the hospital, in the nursing home. Father God, for those who don't even know that they are sick, we ask, Father God, that your omniscient power reveal it to them. We come now, Father God, in, on, on behalf of those who are traveling, those on the mission field, the battlefield. Father, we ask that you continue to cover all those who are in the need of your covering, and that is all of us. We ask now that you would be the speaker. Help her, Father God, to be strengthened by your, by your will. Help her to be strengthened by your love. Help her to be strengthened by your protection. We ask now that you will bring the word through her. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity just to come and say a thank you. We ask now if you, everyone would just join in the prayer that Jesus himself said, model after this, model this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For me right now. Oh, 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 oh. oh, do it for me right now. Do it for me. Good morning, good morning on this beautiful Sunday morning, sunny Sunday morning to all of my Carwell family and friends. We welcome you here to Carwell on the behalf of my pastor, Reverend Denise L. Davenport and first gentleman, Brother Davenport. We welcome you here. You could have chose to go any place, but you chose to be here with us today and we want to thank you. I pray that there's a word in today's sermon that you can take with you today, keep with you all week long, and come back to us next week as family of Caldwell bringing friends. Announcements. 
daily prayer is Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 5 in the morning and Tuesday at 9. Carwell Temple, Amy Zion Church, a new thing, repair and revitalize our sacred place. Reverend Denise L. Davenport is pastor. We are believing in God's, we are believing in God for 75,000, and we need your help. That is 75 people at $1,000, 500 people at $150, 750 people at $100, 250 people at $300, and 1,000 people at $75. If you scan your Q code, you can see exactly where and how you can contribute. Thank you. The Northeastern Episcopal District of the AME Zion Church celebrates Quadrennial Banquet. Bishop Dennis V. Proctor, April 13th at 12 p.m. And it's going to be at the Westchester Marriott, which is located in Tarrytown, New York. Carwell Temple Amy Zion Church Sunday School, which is April 21st, immediately following morning worship. Carwell Temple Amy Zion Church presents Know Your Church, Responsibilities of the Trustees and Stewards. And this is April 11th, which is this Thursday, and the 25th, at 7 p.m. and it's going to be on Zoom. Reverend Denise L. Davenport and Reverend Andrew Branch, he is the pastor of Naomi Temple Amy Zion Church. He is the guest felicitator and it's going to be on Zoom. If you have tickets for the banquet, please make today, please make today, if you need a ticket, please see Miss Shore today. Make your payment. That means make a payment today and see Miss Shore. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. All April babies, happy birthday to you. Thank Have you. An am <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have an amazing, awesome month. Oh, all of you April people are standing up. I see. All right. Celebrate it. Have a wonderful month. Thank you. time where we all could participate, please stand for the givings of our gifts, tithes, and offerings, and you will be ushered down by our ushers accordingly. Please stand.
Please stand. Sing this chorus with me. Say, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart. They rolled away. It was, it was there by faith. I received, I received my And I Oh, can we sing it just two more times? Say, at the cross, say, at the cross, at the cross, oh, where I burst, and, and the burden of my heart, they away. it was there, it was there, I received, I received 
my side. And, and, and now, now I am happy. Can we stand on our feet this last time? Just one more time. Say, at the cross. Hey. At the cross. At the cross. Whoa, where I burn. And the burden of burden my heart. heart. Anybody happy today? You want to sing it? If it was there, say it was there by faith that I received and now and now I am happy. This is the last time right here. It was there, say it was there by faith that I received my side. Day. Come on and clap your hands if God has made you happy all the day. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Are you happy all the day? Giving honor to God who is indeed the head of my life. In the absence of our pastor, Reverend Denise Davenport, I am grateful to be standing behind this sacred desk that she thought of me. Thank you to my Caldwell family and to the Caldwell family on YouTube. I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Our scripture lesson was read by our beloved sister Sandy. And it reads, but Thomas, who was called the twin, on the 12th, was not, one of the 12 was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, unless I see the mark of the hands, the nails in his hands, and put my finger in it, I won't believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was then there, because he wasn't there the first time. Although the doors were shut, and Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then Thomas then he told Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out on your hand and put it inside mine. Do not doubt, believe. Do not, do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God, Jesus, he told me, have you believed because you have not seen? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Consider this morning's subject to be blind faith. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks. I thank you for waking me up this morning and clothing my right mind. Lord God, I ask that you hide little old me behind the rugged cross and use me this morning. Use me this morning to bring forth your message. Fall fresh upon me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, 
the reason behind my backdrop that I'm about to give you is because of Thomas disbelief. He did not believe. He doubted. So the backdrop to today's message, in Matthew chapter 28, it was the first day of the week, the day after Resurrection Sunday, Easter, the stone that sealed Jesus' tomb, tomb had been rolled away, and the tomb was empty when Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, arrived. These women were in disbelief that Jesus was not in the tomb. They were greeted by an angel, do not be afraid. He is not here. He has been risen, just like he said. In shock, the women left to go share what they witnessed with Peter and Simon Peter. The disciples had to witness this empty tomb for themselves. And Mary, tag Mary Magdalene tagged along. Although they saw with their own eyes and believed, they still did not truly grasp what the Bible said about Jesus coming alive after he had died on the cross. Mary Magdalene remained at the tomb weeping because, they, because she could not believe that her Lord and Savior wasn't there. Where did he go? Where did you lay him? Jesus was missing. Jesus appears and tells Mary, I have not ascended to the Father, but go tell your brothers, the disciples, and say to them, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father to my God, and your God. With excitement, Mary Magdalene left the tomb to announce to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. I have seen the Lord. Jesus appeared to the disciples later that evening in the room where they were meeting. They were locked behind the doors because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders because they were followers of Jesus. Jesus entered the room, and he stood among them, and he said to them, Peace be with you. And he showed him his hands and his sides. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm in a locked room, and then Jesus come in. I'd be excited, but I'd be a little afraid at first. You know, because you you know we said he was in a tomb and now he's here in the present. He died on the cross. How is he physically here? But he's here. Jesus did a knock. He didn't give no warning. However, the ten disciples are present except Thomas. They tell Thomas what happened. But he believes, but he believes that seeing is believing. Then he said, I will believe it's when I see it for myself. So I can stick my fingers through the holes so Jesus would know, so I'll know that Jesus was nailed to the cross. That sounds like us, right? A little attitude, but I don't I got to see for myself. Let's get into it. Blind faith. Is this you? Do you have an attitude like the Thomas, the doubter? How often must you be reassured that Christ is real and alive? Do you need physical proof? Have faith in God. Mark eleven twenty five. The songwriter said, Travis Green, Stand here, not knowing how we'll get through. This is the test, but I'm holding on to faith. Then the lyric says, you move mountains. You cause walls to fall. Do you trust God to make a way for you to move mountains? Those with faith in God can be confident that we accomplish and even if the impossible, Jesus, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea. If the, in Jewish literature, moving a mountain was a metaphor for accomplishing the seeing and the impossible. Jesus accomplished 
the impossible by dying on the cross. We are given hope of eternal life because of Jesus' life on the cross. Do you have mountains in your life? For those who have faith and believe in God, your, your faith moves mountains. Mountains, financial mountains. You did, you did not have enough money to buy groceries, but God made a way. The ultrasound found a lump or a growth, but blind faith in God, the results came back benign. Blind faith. If you prayed for promotion and you received it, blind faith. You prayed for the safety of your children or your child on these wicked streets that we call life to be freed from these gangs. Now look at your child. Look at the now. Blind faith. Look in the mirror. You are loosed from bondage and baggage, and you are thriving by faith. That abuse you received from that loved one, mentally, emotionally, or physically, but did God remove that person from your life? Now, I just want to put it out there. Men, you too, get abused. It's not just about the women. And there's teenage abuse as well. But, but, but with blind faith, blind faith, things will be all right. We walk by faith. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. We live in a world where things must be tangible. We need to feel it. We need to see it for ourselves, just like Thomas. The scripture tell us to walk by faith and not by sight. I'm talking about blind faith. So do you trust that your faith in God does not need to be tangible? Do you? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1. 1, plain and straightforward. This is what it means to trust God. Be sure about what we hope for. Be sure in your mind about the things that you cannot see. Blind faith. For it was by the people of the Old Testament who received their condemnation. By faith, we understand in Genesis that the sphere we call earth was created by the word of God. So that what we see was not made of things that are invisible. Your Bible is evidence. A guide to learning you about having faith in God. Do, do you need physical proof that Jesus lives? Thomas insisted that he would not believe unless he personally put his finger in the place that the nails was in Jesus' hand, in his sides, in his feet. Don't be like Thomas, the doubter. Your Bible is the evidence. Your Bible is the evidence that he lives. Little faith. That's all you need is a little faith. Matthew 17, 20, mustard seed faith is all you need to begin with. It's better than doubt. Jesus said because your little faith, are, Jesus said because of your little faith, you are like the disciples who lacked faith. Are you like the disciples who lacked faith? There are many scriptures in the Bible that talks about faith. The women with the issue of blood. This, was, this woman was an outcast, yet she found her way 
on her hands and knees to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. By any means necessary, she said. Luke 8, 43, 48. That's blind faith. The paraplegic who was led down from the roof in the house where Jesus stood by his friends who had faith. Luke 5, 17, 26. These friends had enough faith that they believed that their friend would be healed. Blind faith. Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho. Two men were sitting at the side of the road. He touched their eyes, and immediately they could see. Blind faith. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead in Bethany. After Mary said, where have you been? Where have you been? And Jesus said, hey, girl, calm down. I got this. Calm down. You know, Mary's a little anxious sometimes. Blind faith because she believed that Jesus can do it. Jesus calmed the storm on the sea. The disciples said, we'll die here in this water. Jesus said, you should not be afraid. You should trust me more than you do. Do you trust Jesus more? Are you afraid? Are you not trusting Jesus on those wavy days of the ripples in your life? Because the sea cannot be smooth all the time. On those days that the, your life is on the water and it's just, hold on. Just stay fast. Steadfast. Jesus says, stop. The wind and the water became quiet again. Matthew 8, 23, 27. How many storms has Jesus stopped and calmed in your life? Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left. Do you see all the situations and things that out of prayer happened to you? And God gave you favor? If he did it before, Jesus will do it again. Have faith in God. Walk by faith. Must it see faith. There's no room in your life to be like a doubting Thomas. Blind faith is knowing the Bible as your roadmap to finding faith. Blind faith is knowing that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Blind faith, how can you not believe in Jesus? Do you still need to see his hand? How could you not have faith in Jesus? He took your punishment and was hung on an old rugged cross for your sins. Blind faith is knowing that Jesus paid it all on Calvary. Blind faith is knowing that Jesus was crucified, dead and buried. On the third day, he rose from the dead. Do you believe that? That's having blind faith. He wasn't there, but the word of God is true. This is where you will find all that you need to know about your faith in the Bible. Have faith in God. We walk by faith, and all you need is mustard seed faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.
Let me just sing one verse of faith looks up to thee. Oh, my faith looks up to thee. Thou lamb of Calvary, Savior, Savior. For the doors of the church are now open. Please stand for the doors of the church are now open. Each grace in part. for your salvation. If you lack in faith, if you need faith, or you want to know more about Jesus, come and give your heart to the Lord and your hand to the pastor. Yes, thou hast died for me. The second call. If you're looking for a church home that's here and on YouTube, here at Caldwell Temple Amy Zion Church, where our pastor is Reverend Denise Davenport, we are not a perfect people, but we will love on you, tend to you, see about you, because we serve a living God. We have done what the Lord has asked you may be seated. Life's dark maze I tread and griefs around be spread. Oh, be, be thou my guide. It's turn today. Wife sorrows, sorrows, tears, it tears away. Side. Let's do this last verse right here. When in life's transit dream, when, when death's cold so solid stream, oh, shall or me. Savior, then in love, fear, and distrust, remove, bear me safe above.
don't be like Dalton Thomas. Don't go looking for holes, piercings on the side. Read your Bible. Know that the word of God is true. Because God wouldn't give us false, false, false word. Because the word can never come back void. So read your Bible for yourself. Get to know that Jesus is your faith. He is your way, your truth, and life. Don't go looking for holes. Don't be like Doubting Thomas. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling into the presence of your faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and maj majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. 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 Everyone go have a wonderful and blessed day. And remember, don't go looking for the holes. Have faith, blind faith. Amen.